Hello everybody, I hope everyone is well. Um, well, it's the day after the uh, semi-lockdown um, removal, uh, or the limited lockdown in the UK. Yesterday I came for a bit of a walk, um, not too far from where I live, it's probably a 10 minute drive from where I live, just around a local nature reserve, hence um, why this evening I'm dressed in camouflage. I don't intend to be hiding anywhere, um, but when I was walking around yesterday, didn't take the camera with me, but there was quite a few, I'll say quite a few, there were two or three um, groups of Canada geese with some baby goslings, I think they're called goslings, um, they're probably only a couple of days old, so I thought I'd come down this evening, it's sort of late afternoon, it's half past six, sunset, so about 10 to 9, quarter to 9. Um, so I'm going to go for a walk down there, see if they're around, see if we can get some photos, see if we can get some video, um, which is pr pretty new for me. Don't normally do videos of wildlife, um, but obviously being stuck in the house for the past six weeks or so, um, the only sort of photography I've been able to do really is wildlife, birds and things in the gardens. Hence why the garden has about 600 bird feeders in there now. Um, but I'm just going to go for a walk down there. Um, it's only five minutes, ten minutes maybe. And then when I get there, I'll uh, turn you back on and we can see what we can find. So I don't know whether you can see, just over there, there's just a little um, mallard, I think it is. Um, not very good with my birds, fortunately. Um, and she's got a couple of little chicks that's just hiding in the rocks at the moment, just swimming in and out of the rocks. Obviously, Mommy's just keeping vigil, making sure that the, the two little chicks are okay. There is a heron over there, so obviously she's on high alert. Um, there's crows around and there's also sort of lots of gulls around as well. All three of those have been known to take sort of the little chicks away. I'd say they're probably about a week old, something like that. Um, so I'll just see if I can get, get a bit of video with them hiding in the rocks. So I think you got a little bit of video um, of the little chicks of the goslings just swimming around. As I say, she was pretty, uh, pretty wary. Let me just get you out the light. Yeah, she was pretty wary of uh, everything that's going on around her. The chicks, the goslings, um, pretty oblivious to what was going on. Just wandering around, playing, um, having the time of their lives in and out of the rocks, sort of eating the little grasses and things like that. But the, uh, the Canada geese and the, the little goslings are just down there. So it's only about five minutes, I think. So I'll go for a walk down there um, and hopefully they play um, ball. Here's the Canada geese. The dad's looking very uh, astutely at me just to find out what the hell I'm doing here. Um, and there's two little goslings there and then just mom in the background. So I'm obviously just going to give them some space just make sure sort of I don't spook them and then just maybe wait here five or ten minutes till dad gets used to me so he doesn't see me as a threat and then I'll lie down um, just try and get some images try and get some video of the little goslings as I say they're probably by the looks of things maybe maximum I'd say a week old um, again totally oblivious Dad's doing all the sort of looking out, what happens. I, I stood here for a few minutes and there was another Canada a male turned up. Um, Dad was hissing and sort of wings were out, ready for the fight. Put the other guy back down and just walked away. 
So I'm actually brought the Z6 with me today as well. Um, I've got the 200 to 500 um, lens on there. I've used it a couple of times, I think now, for the Z6. Um, I brought it just before we had lockdown. I had one night down in Dorset doing some Astro with it. I purposely brought it just for Astro um, and also just so I can take some videos with it as well. But obviously with all the lockdown, haven't been able to use it. I've just been sort of sticking out the bedroom window just and sat in the garden, just going through it in the garden. So this is my first time using it in anger, so to speak. So it'd be interesting to find out what the video recording is like on there. Um, I've got the Animal Eye Detect, so maybe it will pick up the, the eye of the little goslings, I don't know. Um, but I'll come back to you, as I say, I'll give it 10 minutes or so, um, and then I'll come back to you and hopefully I can put some images up and some video up when Dad has calmed down a little bit because he's looking quite angry at the moment. see me because the sun's directly in my eyes and in my face um but there was a the, the family with two geese and two goslings um got chased away by another family which you might be the big daddies i suppose of, of the of the pond um they've got four little goslings so they they're doing quite well this year um the sun is set right behind the goslings so it's giving them a lovely little bit of room right all around the outside so or sort of illuminated sort of just backlit which looks really really nice so i'm just going to take some more photos and some video now because i think there's some people walking around and they've just moved into the shade as well so that might be a little bit better so i'll come back to you in a bit
Okay, so I think that's enough waffling for this evening. Um, had a really nice time walking around here, taking some uh, shots of the goslings. Um, so cute, just cute, cuteness overload. But hopefully in the next couple of weeks, sort of start vlogging again, doing landscape photography as well. Um, so I can start posting some vlogs. I've actually really enjoyed getting back behind the, the vlogging camera and, and talking to you guys. So what did I say? If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, share do all those wonderful things um, and you know let's just be thankful for what we've got you know we're coming through a, a horrible period in time um, you know let's just all be nice to each other be nice to everyone else just enjoy life because you know we're as everyone can obviously imagine it can be taken away so quickly so you know let's just not let's do away with all the negativity and let's just have positivity that's the way I feel about it anyway. So, but anyway, as I'm waffling, so until next time, everyone take care, enjoy yourself and be safe. Bye.